Hey everybody, welcome back to our something 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 Sunday evening edition. I think I'm going to switch it to like sing a song Sunday or sing along Sunday something and talk about music because I really enjoyed talking about that this morning. But I do have to lament the fact that I didn't mention two of the biggest influences. I can't believe <laughs> I didn't mention two of the biggest influences that I had when I was listening to music, and that was Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. Those two were huge. I can't believe I didn't mention them at all. Um, thank you to our 119 subscribers. Yeah, make your raptor noises. That's fine. Um, I really appreciate you guys subscribing, taking the time. Um, it really means a lot to us here. And, uh, you know, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Um, we do two to three videos a day, about 10 minutes each, sometimes a little more, but never more than 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, it's a good time, so hit the button, comment, let me know what you guys are thinking, what you're all about. And uh, yeah. So during my, my uh, high school years, I wasn't a very studious person. I, some things happened and um, I was not accepted into a couple things that I wanted to be accepted into and um, I kind of threw a little juvenile fit but that fit included me just kind of like not going to school but I did have one teacher that was very very influential in my my uh, rearing we'll call him Mr. Y and he um, introduced me to the realm of classic rock and uh, prog rock and uh, like he would take, we had, a, we had a planetarium in our school, and um, on some Fridays, like once a month or so, he would take us to the planetarium, and we would listen to music. Um, usually it was like, um, Yes was a big one that he liked to listen to, The Doors, Rush, Led Zeppelin, um, The Moody Blues, he really got me into The Moody Blues, which I still listen to a lot. Um, just all kinds of really good stuff, and it, it was a humanities class, so, you know, you could pretty much get by with that kind of thing in a humanities class, <clears throat> but, um, that introduced me to the world of, of classic rock, and I've been a huge fan of that ever since. Um, my first Led Zeppelin album was Houses of the Holy, um, I listened to that thing, it was a cassette, I listened to that until it was, you know, you know how cassettes got, they, they'd get eaten and have warped areas, and yeah, so I listened to that a lot, and then once I, uh, once I became familiar with that, I started, uh, listening to, <clears throat> of course, four, Led Zeppelin four, um, two, one, but I think my favorite of all of them, of all the Led Zeppelin albums, is probably three, Led Zeppelin three, is uh just wonderful that's the way friends um just such a good album all of them are just wonderful um and of course the physical graffiti album um in the evening in the light such good songs um 10 years gone is another really good one um yeah, they're just a, such a good band, and uh, and then Pink Floyd, of course. I mean, who doesn't love Dark Side of the Moon? You know, um, I really like uh, Wish You Were Here, of course. Uh, the Wall, um, the movie, and the album. I I watch a lot of uh, reaction videos for like uh, classical musicians and people that have never listened to rock music. And it just fascinates me. And I, I think the reason that I w like it so much is because it's almost like you get it. It's, it's, uh, you, you see the music from another person's perspective and it's almost like listening to it for the first time all over again. Because you get to hear it, someone break it down and, and see what they hear. Um, and I, I really, really enjoy that. So I watch a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of classical musicians that have never heard a lot of the really, popular music um and rappers like people who grew up listening to rap 
and they've never listened to rock music before and they they start listening to it and react to it I really like watching those videos um, it's it's fun and uh, it's it it just fascinates me to think that someone has gotten to a certain age in their life and never heard songs from like like really popular songs like stuff from ACDC and Kiss and <laughs> the stuff that I really don't care for but then there's they cover stuff that I do so um yeah that's a lot of fun and I've also discovered a lot of really good music that way too um like Ren I don't know if you've ever heard of Ren, R-E-N. Oh my goodness, this kid is a genius. Well, he's not a kid. I think he's in his 30s, but man, he is he is a musical genius. He is so talented, and uh, I discovered him through watching those videos. Um, there's a band called King Lizard and the Gizzard, or King Wizard and the Gizzard Wizard, or King... Oh my goodness, okay, okay. Violence has erupted. I think we're, I think... Uh, I think Oswald's starting to feel a bit frisky. It's, I think it's King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Yeah, that's it. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I discovered them by listening to these, to watching these reaction videos. But um, yeah, it's it's really really good. And then of course Black Sabbath. I watch, I listened to a lot of them. My first Black Sabbath album or cassette was uh, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Um, just an excellent excellent album i still listen to all this stuff i still i can't find anything new that 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 hits me like that stuff does like um with black sabbath there's the wizard um sabbath bloody sabbath that song itself is just freaking amazing um i got into jethro tall for a long time um love jethro tall they have such a such almost like a Celtic feel, like their their Celtic mystical medieval feel that they have. I absolutely love them. Um, Ian Anderson is a an, just phenomenal. He's self-taught. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Jethro Tull and uh, Ian Anderson, the flute player, the lead singer. He's self-taught on the flute, and uh, he's just incredible. But you just don't find music like this anymore it's like it, it's almost like they broke the mold you know I mean they they it's just I don't know everything now just seems like a reproduction and you've got all this auto-tune crap and you know it's all synthesized and digital and now there's AI music that's not even created by musicians and it just all seems so artificial and nothing seems organic um, I, I don't know and you know I was, I was discussing my uh, my trifecta this morning my my uh, my musical trifecta with Rush Tool and Dave Matthews and uh, I, I like to describe it as Tool is my boy side Dave Matthews is or I'm sorry Rush is my girl my boy side Dave Matthews is my girl side and Tool is my universal side so that's the that's kind of the way I look at it is uh, you know it's those those groups hit that part of me it I don't know uh, with Rush it's uh, you know uh, uh, Red Barchetta is really good uh, YYZ is excellent um, of course all of the the radio play songs you know Tom Sawyer Limelight, Spirit of Radio, all of those are just excellent, excellent songs. 2112 is probably one of my favorite all-time albums. Um, you have to listen to the whole thing. You can't just listen to one part of it. Um, Natural Science. Natural Science is probably another one of my one of my favorites. I really enjoy their lyrics. Like, and that's another thing I think that those three bands have in common that they have very witty, profound very just well done lyrics and um, I, I like music that makes you think I, I really really I don't I don't enjoy simple music as much now some stuff I do you know some stuff I, I, I will catch my ear there's a bunch of stuff from the 80s it's pretty simple but I'll still listen to it but I do get overplay really bad so if I hear a song I think because I, I pick up on them so fast that if I hear them too many times, I can't 
it just does something to me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, like, I couldn't listen to Stairway to Heaven for probably, like, ten years because I used to hang out in a lot of bars and, you know, with a lot of musicians and stuff, and of course everything is, you know, that's, that's the guitar player's, like, I don't know, it's like the standard, like, everyone has to know Stairway to Heaven, and, um, you know, you'd hear it when you would go out, because I used to shoot pool a lot, and so you'd go out shoot pool, and you'd hear Stairway to Heaven, and it would be, you'd play almost every night, and it's probably one of the best songs ever written, but I couldn't listen to it for so long, because I had just heard it so many times, and, uh, so I've just recently been able to listen to it again and really enjoy it, so... Yeah, but, um, yeah, I think Sundays will be the days we talk about music, because I really, really enjoy music, and, uh, I, it's something I can talk about, so we'll do it. Chickens in a tune. Maybe that's what we'll call Sundays. Chickens in a tune. All right. Thank you so much if you've made it this far, listening to me drabble on. I so greatly appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We've got, uh... We've got the Mental Monday coming up, and we'll uh, we'll do some research and see what we can come up to talk about with that. Uh, make sure you guys watch the episode from earlier and the episodes from earlier this week where we got our first egg. Make sure you guys check into that. We haven't got any more, but we got one, so we're we're on our way. I'm not rushing anyone, and uh, make sure you guys comment, like, and uh, subscribe. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.